much. Hey. Oh. Ah, nice, isn't it? Lovely evening. Yeah, yeah, it's Warm. very nice. Yeah, it's been... Fresh it's air. Good. Oh, I love the fresh air, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. No, I, I breathing is, is very good for relaxation, you know. Let's breathe deeply and... You're right, yeah, you're right. I feel much better, you know. Oh, oh. oh what's wrong? No, oh, no, no, no problem, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you don't relax. I'm oh, sorry, you're a monk, you don't do that sort of thing. I'm no. sorry, I'm sorry. It's not important. It's not, oh, okay. You know, right. there's more important things. Yeah, there is, I think there is. There was something I wanted to tell you, a story. Oh, go ahead. It's okay, there was a story. There was a teacher. There was a teacher, she had a classroom full of students. And she said to the students one day, I've got an assignment for you. I want you to write down what you want to be. Okay. And so the students, they started to write down what they wanted to be. Some of them writing down different things. One of them wrote down, I want to be an actor. One of them wrote down, I want to be on X Factor. <laughs> Do you watch X Factor? It'd be cool if you did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. One of them wrote down, I want to be an astronaut. And then another one wrote down, I want to be a vegan, second wave neo-feminism activist. <laughs> really? <laughs> then the teacher walked over to one of the students and looked over his shoulder and he saw what he'd written down there and it was something strange. So my child, what have you written there? She saw it written, I want to be happy. Wow. And the teacher said, my dear, it seems you haven't understood the assignment at all. That's true. And the child looked at the teacher right in the eye and said, Miss, I think you've misunderstood life. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. It's an interesting subject because what is the actual goal? What are we aiming for? You know what Martin Luther King said, another great social commentator of his time? He said, the great irony of our times is, today we have guided missiles. Guided missiles guided by misguided men. And if you think about it, it's a fact. Where are we going as a people? What's the direction of our society? We're being led by blind leaders. What's the goal? Because many of us, we have a certain subject we like to talk about a lot. We see it everywhere. Hear about it in the music, in the, in the movies, but no one knows what it actually means. You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> love. I know about love. No, no, I'm not talking about this mushy, gooey, slushy stuff that you see on X Factor. No, I'm not talking what kind about of that. I'm talking about pure, unalloyed, unadulterated, full surrender, sacrifice for someone, which ready to do anything without any expectation of reward. I mean, service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna himself. That's what I'm talking about. But how, how do I make that change? Change? You see, the change starts within each one of us. Taking a good look at yourself and seeing what it is about us that has to improve. And that can only be achieved through directly a personal relationship with the one who's given us everything. Who's that? I'm talking about Krishna, God. You see, we're all individual spirit souls, part and parcel of Him. By understanding our connection with the Lord, we can see that everybody, every living being, we're intimately connected to them. This is real love. That, that makes sense. I mean, you see that guy over there? If he's a soul like me, that means that, you know, I can respect him even though he looks so hideous. It makes so much sense. That's profound. Now you know, you're understanding. Does that make sense, right? It makes perfect sense. So what are you going to do now? You know, I need to learn more about myself. I need to learn more. How, how do I get to learn more? What should I do? Well, this is a journey that you've started, and now the rest is up to you. 
But see, at the end of the day, you can try and make the best of a bad script. Or you can really make something different in the world. Yeah, but what about my job? I have to handle my resignation. What am I going to do? Don't worry, there's many options. I have to leave now. I'm being carried to the next place, but don't worry. You can take a sabbatical or something. A subway. A sabbatical. Bye-bye. That's it. Bye. I'm going to take a sabbatical. Yes. Okay, it's a new day. Three months later. It's time to hit the streets. Let's do it, Abdullah. Yeah! Yeah, you got it, man. <laughs> wow, you look amazing. Okay, let's go for second time. Let's go! Hey, man, where's your dolly? <laughs> 